please donate in order to support my channel. You have a PayPal link in the video description. I will start off as usual with the scale weighing. This right here is the authentic and it weighs 471 grams. And this is the fake and it weighs 445 grams. Let's have a look at the cellophane enfolding. This is the top. You can see the fold going to the side. It actually looks more like stitching. And on the authentic, the folding also goes to one side, but you cannot see it. This right here is the bottom. Let's unwrap it. This is the front. The authentic has the size right here close to the corners, but the fake has the size closer to the center. This is actually a copy paste of the first version of Baccarat Rouge that was released. The authentic has a slight embossing feel of the letters. The fake doesn't. The box of the authentic has a velour like texture, but the fake is totally smooth. This is the top, the side, the back, the other side, once again the chandelier and the bottom. The fake does actually have a batch code 16232 and the batch code of the authentic is right here 19211. Let's take out the bottles. This is standard Maison Francis Corcjean presentation. Now let's take the fake bottle out. I hope I won't get the seven deadly scenes out of it. It actually has the same mechanism as the authentic. The fake doesn't have a booklet inside. These are the sleeves. They look practically the same. There's a lot of difference. This looks like luxury, just like Baccarat crystals. And this looks like pure crap. This is not a mirage. The font of the fake is really fucked up. I think you need 3D glasses to see what's written there. This is the authentic, absolutely flawless. And this is the fake piece of crap. So this is the front. This is the side. You have the same batch number on the authentic 19211 as on the box. The fake does not have a batch code. These are the caps. The authentic perfectly mirrors the image, but the fake is kind of fuzzy. On the authentic cap, the logo inside is perfectly matched with the one at the top, but the logo inside this is off. These are the atomizers. They both fall in line with the vertical line. This is how they look inside. This is a very big difference. The tube inside the atomizer, this is the authentic. And this right here is the fake. And now one of the most important parts, I will indulge myself with the authentic and I will put my life on the line with the fake and tell you what it smells like. The difference in smell is huge. The authentic will give you style, luxury and finesse. This crappy fake smells more like penicillin. It's totally crap. It looks more like piss actually. I fucking hate it. I will go wash my hand immediately. I don't want to get any skin diseases or whatever the fuck the piece of shit fake contains. So guys, once again, don't ever buy fakes. I do not promote buying fakes. Always go for the authentics. And I will see you in my next one. Take care. Goodbye.